Thank you very much for staying with us. This is Capital Market and we're live on Channel Television. Let's kick off this segment with the equities market wrap-up. Now, it was a short trading week due to a three-day public holiday declared by the federal government to commemorate Adolf Fitri. However, the bears dominated the local boss with the benchmark index closing 1.54% lower at 28,854.98. Market capitalization declined to 9.91 trillion naira, and total volume traded dropped to 377.80 million shares, worth 3.64 billion naira, and exchanged in 7,466 deals. Now the market breadth was negative, with only nine gainers against 48 losers. Oando was the top gainer with 20.33% while SkyBank led the laggard stable with 17.14%. FBN Holdings, g Bank and Access Bank collectively accounted for 32.38% of total volume traded during the week. And of course, we don't take our eyes off the African indices. And here we'll begin with the BRVM, which ended yesterday at 298.4 index level. Of course, it's dropped 0.8% in yesterday's trading. But the week to date is negative. It's 2.0%. Year to date is also negative. We see the all share index of Nairobi Stock Exchange in the green zone, but with a 3.3%. Uh, decline in year to date. Johannesburg Stock Exchange has a 0.5% decline yesterday, which is Friday, but the week to date is negative 1.9%. The Morocco Stock Exchange also uh, appreciated week to date is 1.6%, where we have the MSCI Frontier Markets Index contracting 0.2%. Clearly, the markets were uh, that came in with mixed uh, uh, sentiments yesterday. Now, you must have been listening to the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Yakubu Dogara, in the news. Yes, the Speaker broke records by becoming the first House of Representatives leader to sound the closing gong of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. But after his meeting with brokers where he assured them of the House of Representatives support, he met with journalists where he fielded questions on the relationship between the National Assembly and the capital market. I can tell you that um, there is a positive um, synergy now between the legislature and, and the council, and I believe that utilizing that, we can achieve a lot. Now, they've had calls to craft a master plan, which I believe is commendable in all respect. We've seen it, it's beautiful if it is implemented over a 10-year period that's been projected for the implementation of the master plan. Um, there's no doubt that um, it will result in the realization of the full potentials of this market. Now, um, you, 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 you spoke about um, the stakeholders conference that took place um, some weeks ago. Um, I know that there was a community that came out at the end of um, that stakeholders forum, even though I didn't participate to the end. But in order to show how serious parliament is and to underpin the fact that government places a lot of premium on this market. The Senate President, as well as myself, will personally attend this forum and uh, will promise that whatever outcomes that was generated from that stakeholder summit, we will ensure that we implement them, if it relates to what we can do as a parliament. Now, we have noted the issues that they have raised. And uh, I can tell you that we are addressing that through uh, some of the bills that are before us. Um, you talk about stakeholder engagement uh, when it comes to working on bills. Obviously, as part of um, our process in our rules, um, once the bill scales through second reading, the next um, process is um, for a public hearing to be held on it. And the reason why we do the public hearing is um, to throw the door open to all um, relevant stakeholders 
who have the expertise on the field to come to Parliament and speak to us. Now, you will agree with me that we don't have the expertise uh, in the National Assembly. Even where we have is limited. And so when we speak to relevant stakeholders in that field, it improves the quality of the legislations that will come out um, uh, from the National Assembly. So the IST is there, the ISC is there, the Kama is there. Uh, I believe that the public hearings will take place very soon, and in most cases, um, notices of hearing, not even most cases, in all cases, it's a fundamental requirement that notices are published in three dailies including one, one circulating locally and then two national dailies. That is a requirement. And uh, we'll join stakeholders, including the media, to disseminate that and um, to ensure that um, they avail themselves of the opportunity to um, give us their expertise so that we can craft legislations that will speak to the yearnings of those sectors in uh, the society. Um, talking about the number of um, bills before the National Assembly relating to capital market, I don't think I'll sit down and start counting the number of bills, but I can tell you that we're not just addressing the issue of capital market. We're trying to look at the holistic business environment in Nigeria. And what we did was to constitute a committee consisting of eminent jurists in Nigeria, uh, some of them senior advocates, some that have been writing a lot. Some of them I wrote, uh, actually, their books. I read their books uh, while I was in school studying law. So we constituted this team of experts, and they have been working for close to a year to look at the entire gamut of laws we have relating to business, whether they are capital market related, other areas of uh, businesses. And I can tell you that at the end of the day, we had to like, expand their mandate to clear all the statutes book to clean all the status books in Nigeria from 1800. So you would notice that for the first time in the history of the House, um, we read 100 bills in a day. And at the end of the first year, we were able to pass a mammoth record of bills, about 85 bills within one year. It's never happened before. But the credit goes to this committee of eminent jurists that are working with the parliament. Some of them have sacrificed everything, including their time and comfort. They're in a budget day in, day out, working on some of these legislations, looking at areas that are, uh, are absolute, areas that are antiquated, and making recommendations to parliament for either their repeal or a way we can renew them. And right now, we have taken a total of 230, about 235 bills from, from that committee. And we're able to pass all these bills. Believe me, we'll be able to, would have been able to clean our statutes books and uh, modernize them. All those laws that you take, um, the punishment is in pound styling will no longer be there. <laughs> Apparently right now we have laws in Nigeria, the punishment is in pound styling, or where they speak to five naira, two naira, very ludicrous kind of punishments. So this is what we're doing. And it's not just on uh, the capital market, but the